Amazon keeps adding category attributes. So when was the last time you audited it to make sure you're filling everything in? There is a new tool within Seller Central that will help you do this. It is the Add Missing Attributes in Bulk tool. Uh, I just happenstance came across this today. You can get here from going to the inventory page and clicking on Add Missing Attributes in Bulk. So on this page, all you have to do is hit the Generate Report button. This is gonna download an Excel file, and I'll show you what this looks like. And in here, this is giving us uh, some basic data, obviously the SKU, the ASIN product name, how many page views it has. So here are some of my more popular items at the top here, sorted and filtered accordingly. And then it's saying, here's the missing attribute, height base to top. Now, just to give you some perspective, how important this might be, we'll go over to the ASIN and click on it. And so Amazon's basically saying, what is the measurement from the bottom of this item to the top? And by simply filling that in, in this attribute right here, and then reloading it, it's claiming that the product will be seen with more search impressions. Now, I actually do believe this is true. How many impressions is questionable? So we don't know how much of an impact this can make, but for a relatively low hanging fruit here, coming in and spending a couple minutes, they spit it out in a category file like this. And since I have a high SKU catalog, there's actually quite a few attributes I need to go and fill in, uh, but it gives you examples of what it can look like. There's instructions here to tell you how to do this. Uh, and they're also making it super straightforward and easy where you just have to fill in one column and hit the upload button directly back in here. So that's pretty helpful, um, understanding the height base, the item depth, the width and all that good stuff, material type, what's it free of, paraben free, whatever. Uh, some of these things can help more consumers find your products. So we would just type in something like their example into this column, hit the enable edit button within Excel, of course, paste it in, hit the save button, and then follow the instructions to go right back over to Seller Central and hit the upload file by going to the download section of your computer and hitting it upload. You can then see the upload status. So the last time we did this was in June, it's now August and it's time to do it again because you never know when Amazon is adding new attributes or quite frankly, deleting your data. I've seen it all the time. So what you do here is you check the errors, make sure you're zeroed out there. And if you do have an error, you can download the file again to see where the error is, fix it, and then come back and hit upload once more. Uh, if you have an error on one SKU, the other SKUs will load correctly. No worries there. So if you're in a rush, you can't finish that last SKU that's got an error or you're scratching your head why they're not accepting it. No worries. At least get some missing attributes filled in in bulk and a bulk action like this, low hanging fruit, super easy for you to action. You can put your virtual assistant on this. You can put your Amazon specialist on this to go in and help fill out additional attributes. My name is Stephen Pope. I've got hundreds and hundreds of videos about how to manage your catalog on Amazon. If it's too much work, you can always hire us over at myamazonguy.com. We'll give you a proposal to see if we can help you make your data and catalog issues go away. We'll see you later.